Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Mega Constructs review with Simon from the SS Motion or I guess the domain as we're changing the name within the month. And today we're having a look at the Mark 1 prototype exosuit. I was incredibly excited when this got announced and even more surprised that I could actually get hold of it. But when you have friends in America and Amazon.com, you can overcome even the hardest distribution issues. Now, when you're the designers at Halo Mega Constructs and you basically have endless amounts of lore to choose from, it's really cool when you go back to something as old as Halo Legends. This was a set of seven animated shorts that released in 2010, and usually you don't really see them represented. The Halo Legends booster frame has come out a couple of times. A lot of the figures that were included in that have made their way into the McFarlane line, but usually you don't see many toy distributors staying true to Halo Legends, especially like 10 years after it came out. So this is really cool to see, and it stays almost true to the actual design in the anime. We're gonna talk about what works, which is about 99% of this thing, and then maybe the 1% that they could improve on. So as Jonathan and I discussed in our Warthog Run review, if you're going to make a set that's true to a specific piece of canon, you may as well go all out. Don't make a Halo Warthog Run set if it comes with hunters when they don't appear in the Halo 3 final mission. But this one is so true to the original canon, First of all, we have Ghost. You're a ghost, aren't you? And not only do we have that figure, we also have the helmet here that we can attach to the figure when he's inside the exosuit. Oh my god. It's the prototype suit. But who the hell's driving it? First, we're going to have a look at this figure because, my goodness, this is one of the best Halo Mega Bloks figures I have held in my hands. And believe me, that has been in its many thousands. This is Ghost, and this is pretty much exactly as he appears in the anime. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous paint to call with this Halo 3 Marine style. If this had come out when I was running Blocks Fest, this would have been all I stocked on the shelves. It's unbelievable. He has this really nice golden goggle visor and it stays true to a lot of the Halo 3 Marines you see in the campaign. And then we've got to talk about this absolutely stunning metallic green paint job on the armor. Again, as we've mentioned with a lot of different sets, the helmet, because it's a soft plastic, always has a slightly different color, but it's so barely noticeable. The same as all of the super articulation figures, all of his armor comes off as it just demonstrated right there. You can obviously mix and match this with whatever you want. The assault rifle is also that gorgeous new design there. They've really hit it home with almost every single aspect of this figure. It's a wonderful, wonderful representation of exactly the character Ghost that appears in the anime. Then moving on, we just have this absolutely stunning armor here. This all comes apart very nicely, as I'll show you in a second, and the Marine fits into all these empty slots here. You could easily pop a head on here, and you'd barely notice the difference if you used a bit of tack that there wasn't actually a figure inside. To put the Marine inside the suit, you have to remove all of his armor, his shoulders, legs, and chest. You have to sort of tuck him in a little bit, but it's very nice. It really works together without any problems. You don't feel like you're forcing it at all. And then pop the legs on like this, and you're good to go. I mean, look at just how seamlessly he pops into that frame. Arm a piece on there, securing him in place, and then you can accessorize. This would be the 1% of this figure that I don't really think works. We've got a three piece stud on the back there. The whole thing can fall apart. See, it's already coming apart. You kind of just have to gently press it together, but it's not easy, as I just demonstrated. There we are, we put him together all right in the end, but this is a little flimsy. We just, oh no, there we go, it falls apart. Again, this is all gonna kind of fall apart on me. I could see people, ah, uh, there we go. Good to go, let's go through all of his weapons. All right, everybody, so I'm reading these straight off Wikipedia. Um, the, <laughs> here we go. The right arm ends in the 850 round, six barreled Lucifer AMGG. The right shoulder is topped with a Tri Blaster Lao 1810 missile launcher armed with SGM 151 heat seat seek. <laughs> SGA armed with SGM-151 heat-seeking missiles.
The other side has additional missile tubes that are packed with identical missiles as the shoulder-mounted cluster. Okay, well, you know, it's not entirely accurate, but for what it is, I think they've done a fantastic job. I also remember in the anime when his arm gets ripped off. If this metal piece came off, the arm would come with it. And considering how far they've come from the original Cyclops and Mantis from however many years ago, it's a great improvement. I will say as one criticism, the Green Machine versus Banished Marauder that came out before this and had Sergeant Johnson had the ability for his machine gun or rockets to fall down and sort of like a swivel joint. So it's a shame they lost that. It's a shame these rockets can't uh, sort of move down like Sergeant Johnson's did. And other than that, it's fantastic. The paint job is great. I love the metallic green that matches the Ghost Marine and they also have it really nicely in the middle of this barrel here. The whole thing sits very nicely, it's packaged very nicely. The whole thing is a joy to build, a joy to display. I hope you guys can get your hands on it as well because it's a, it's a one of a kind until they make more because they like doing color variations and and making money. So guys, this was another Halo Mega Constructs review with Simon from the SS Motion slash the domain. I really hope you enjoyed and I also really hope that you enjoy all the content I'm gonna be pushing out over the next few months. I'm in quarantine, baby, so I got all the time in the world to be making content. I got three YouTube channels now. Uh, there's links in the description below for all of them. And yeah, as mentioned before, we're making a transition from the SS Motion to the domain. The database of all foreign and knowledge of the galaxy, I thought it's a pretty appropriate name. We're just transitioning name, but nothing else. We're staying true to Halo, Mega Bloks, and all that jazz. Please leave a comment down below with any videos you would like to see in the future, and have a great day. The Mark 1 Prototype Suit is signing off. That soldier is officially missing in action, lost during heavy combat on Algolus. He demonstrated honorable conduct not only as a Marine, but also as a human being. We're heading for rendezvous with the UNSC Heart of Midlothian. Over and out.